Hey everybody, my name is Mecha Coates. I've been working with NutriTower for about a year. Um, I was hired to do social media and to make content. And March came along and COVID hit and uh, I got a tower for myself. I figured what better way to document our product than to have, it, have one for myself. At that point, I mean, I had, a, I had had a garden once and it really didn't go well. Um, I wouldn't wake up early enough in the morning to go take care of it. I'd water it in the afternoon and my plants would burn. Um, I'm allergic to wasps and there'd be wasps everywhere. So any, anyways, not the best experience. And you know, of course, when, when it comes to sustainability and all these things, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I get tremendous satisfaction from doing compost. So anything that has to do with just uh, greener ways, I really like. Like, I don't remember the last time I bought a plastic bottle. You know, I have my reusable bottle. So, you know, I digress with this stuff. But the Nutri Tower fits within the sustainability world. You know, it's a product. It's kind of a high ticket item. But you don't, you don't look at it as like, oh, I'm buying something and I just lost money, right? It's... You're buying a tool that basically helps you grow food in your house. And on the market right now, there's you know more and more of these. There's tabletop models, uh, there's bigger models, and you know, just the intent of growing your own food is like really a, a, a good place to start. But this is the Nutri Tower, and like this is why the Nutri Tower is awesome. So this is my Nutri Tower. So the Nutri Tower is about two feet wide by just over five feet tall. And basically how it works is that you have two connections, right? You have one connection for the lights on a timer and one connection for the water pump also on a timer. We'll get back to that very shortly. So, in here, you have your water bucket where you have all the hoses, all the tubes, all eight tubes feeding back in. And you fill up the water from the bottom to about here. And then you put some AB formula that I'll show you in a second. This is the AB formula. Now, what you do when you fill up your bucket is that you put two caps of A and two caps of B. Basically, A is a mixture of iron, magnesium, calcium, you know, basically what your plants would get as if it was grown in the earth. And here you have this stuff. So two caps for this whole bucket of water. And then, See, I changed my water yesterday. You have the pump at the bottom, the pump on the timer pumps the water upwards through the column. And then here at the top, it splits. It splits here, you see, every single one of them. The water comes down and then it does a trickle down. So you see here you have your growing medium. This is called hydrogen. The plant gets the water that it needs and also the plant is in this cocoa core, which is actually the growing medium. And it's basically like coconut. And it works really well. And the water goes down and down and down and back into the tube. And you basically want to run your water, see on this timer, every, li every little notch is 15 minutes. So you run it 30 minutes every about two hours for half a day. And then your lights are on for about 12 to 13 hours. And as you can see, the light source, the connection is really simple. You have here at the top, just a two pin that you clip in and two pin at the bottom. 
Now the lights that I'm using at the moment are T5 LEDs. Uh, they're not the lights that come with the tower. I'm just basically testing out uh, the different grow speed at the moment, but the fluorescent lights that come with the tower have basically grown everything that you see here. My ultimate favorite plant to grow is pepper plants. Um, I've grown successfully two pepper plants, but you see, so this one, these chili peppers, some of them are ready. This is the second time that this plant fruits. It totally came back to life. And that's what I really like in the tower is that since it's not really seasonal, once your plant starts fruiting, it fruits for a long time. You just have to keep pruning it, you know, taking care of it. And, you know, same for this one. I really, really like growing these plants. Technically, the way it, it starts, you know, you grow from seed. You know, so you put little seeds in these pellets. You let them germinate for a while, and then you put them in the tower. But what you can also do, as you can see, that I've been doing this with basil a lot, is taking cut cuttings, putting them in water, getting a little bit of root structure. After that, I put it in the cocoa cord, and I just grow it. So, like from this basil plant, you see, like this cutting right there is this basil and um, I really like growing mint as well mint goes pretty wild this mint believe it or not came from the grocery and I transplanted it and where is the other mint I have a different mint as well here you see that also was grocery bought just put it in water got some roots Planted it in the tower and then it, boom, mint. What else? I mean, my tomato plant's going really well too. That's a lot of fun to grow. Um, and growing in the Nutri Tower becomes a lot of fun when you join the Nutri Tower Grower Group on Facebook. Uh, a lot of people are troubleshooting, sharing their their tips and tricks. Also, people are sometimes uh, sharing the problems that they're having you know sometimes their plants look like they have some types of disease but uh, that's the thing with our community you're never alone people solve problems together and it makes it that gardening in the nutri tower is, uh, is something empowering because you're never really doing it alone see here these uh, chives they come from the grocery store and i mean they've regrown and regrown and regrown so regenerative grocery food, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I love aloe. And I mean, it does get a lot more water than it should, but because it's hydroponic, the water doesn't conserve and that way it doesn't rot the root system. So they just kind of look good. You see, I have a few plants in here that are not edible, but they just add character to the tower. Here you see another aloe. Look at this succulent. Succulents are very interesting, kind of Frankenstein-y, this one. So they actually end up drinking a lot of water and they just propagate and propagate and propagate. And here I'm starting some beans. And then the other thing I want to show you is you see like this rosemary is just in a pot with dirt right but it's totally utilizing the light so the base of the tower can also be used to store some plants you see like in here i'm I'm trying to regrow some sage you know the roots the root structure is going to get in there so i think i don't know if you can see in here but i have some root structures growing in this little bottle so i'm always trying to clone herbs and uh, all of this because I discovered that with the Nutri Tower, you know, you can do all these things. And then last but not least, it's about keeping your tower clean. So you see this pot here has nothing at the moment, but it's kind of clean, right? And so what happens is that as your plants grow, you know, and I've been pretty good with all my plants, but like, let's just say this one here, like I haven't taken it out for a long time, but if I try to nudge oh actually i did clean it out the root structure just gets really stuck and sometimes you need to oh, take it out 
cut a bit of root structure, like maybe about, you know, this much from the bottom. You always need about only this much root. And you want to clean, you want to clean your tower because it might get clogged, you know, and then the, you'll have like water problems. So that's the one thing. The tower isn't a live ecosystem. And like anything that's alive, it gets dirty and you need to clean it. Um, I have a bunch of cleaning videos in the the group and on YouTube and um, I'll just make sure to link to all these extra videos. So I really hope that uh, the this video has helped you guys better understand the tower, kind of helped demystify the tower in a sense. And for you to see that, you know, this relatively big machine is pretty friendly. And once you get a hang of it, which doesn't take a lot of time, it becomes a lot of fun. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're eating fresh basil. Look at this guy, right? Fresh basil whenever you want. It never comes in a plastic container. And if ever you did buy basil in a plastic container, well, you could probably just regrow some in your tower as well, right? Like this morning, I made an omelet with one of these little hot peppers. It was delicious. You know, the tomatoes, this is another thing, right? Like, maybe it's not about the abundance, but the fact that you can grow all this stuff at home all year long, it just gets you a lot closer to your food. Um, there's a different type of respect. I, I don't know. I think all NutriTower users uh, get that feeling where basically you get your money back just by seeing your food grow in front of you that way. You know, it's, it's very empowering, to be honest. I mean, I could really go on and on and on about this. And uh, it's like, it looks like, you know, I've really drank the sauce, but it's more like the NutriTower has done its impact on me. And the, the impact is very empowering. It's a, this sustainability thing is not just a fad, it's actually very important to bring some of these things into your life. And the Nutri Tower just amplifies that. All right, guys, I hope this was good. I have a bunch of videos all the time going on in the Nutri Tower group. Here at Nutri Tower, we really wanna help all our customers have super positive experiences. So you can always reach out to us with any of your questions.